On this channel, I'm covering Depth vs. Heard, celebrity news, things like that. And one of the things I really don't like to talk about is Amber's looks because it's irrelevant to what's going on. However, if a major platform like the New York Post has to put it out there, well, then I'm going to respond. So this is called Amber Heard has one of the world's most beautiful faces according to science. This is from June 21st, 2022. I'd say science isn't the best way to judge how you think someone looks. That's just my opinion. It's got a lot of common uses, and I personally really like science, but in this case, I'd say not so much. Say what you will about Amber Heard, but her face is almost perfect according to the so-called golden ratio. As the dust settles over her ex-husband Johnny Depp's defamation case against her, a trial that enthralled the nation for weeks, facts about the embattled actress are resurfacing in the media. But let's just hold on for a second. Because we're not talking about Amber Heard right now at 36. We're talking about Amber Heard at like 23, 24, 25. Wait, we're not talking about that because that's before she had $50,000 in plastic surgery on her face. So at what point are we talking about? We're talking about after she had this $50,000 of plastic surgery, which has been well, well documented, by the way. I'm not sure if they mentioned that. Let's find out. Fortunately, it's not all bad for her. Despite having to pay $15 million in damages after a Virginia jury ruled that her case didn't hold up in court, at least she still got a near flawless face according to scientific standards. And what happens is, as you get older, with all of us, that kind of goes away as time goes on. So I'm not sure why it's worth mentioning. First described the ancient Greeks, the golden ratio numerically 1.618 refers to a formula of proportions that have been purported to identify the most mathematically perfect visage. We know symmetry is considered beauty to a lot of people, maybe even subconsciously, maybe it is. But let's not drag science into something that really has to do with personality and character and motives. British cosmic surgeon Dr. Julian De Silvia shared his rationale for declaring Hurt's face exactly 91.8% close to perfect, about as good as it gets by using digital facial mapping technology. I guess we're looking at it right here. I'm not going to look this up, try to figure out how to describe to you guys better, try to pass along the info on how this graph works. They're using a graph to try to make Amber look good now. That definitely says something. And again, they're not using recent photos, so what's the point of old photos? The golden ratio alternatively signified by the Greek letter phi can be observed in all manner of life and design, and the closer the proportions of any given object are to the phi, the more perfectly balanced they appear. The Silva analyzed 12 points on Heard's face using a red carpet image from 2016 to measure between her eyes, nose, lips, chin, and overall head to get nearly 92% score. Wait a minute, that's a picture. How do you know what angle it's at? When you take a picture and you turn, you look certain ways, there's distance that gets caught in there that gets slightly distorted because the image becomes flat. If you really want to do this, you got to get her in your office and actually do it in person. That's the only way. You can't get the amber six years ago or from 2016 or whatever in your office. So there's no way to do this. It's just speculation. Obviously, Amber's PR people have contacted the New York Post and they're like, let's write something positive about Amber a lot of people could like. Let's write something a lot of guys will like. Let's write something girls will look up to. It's a PR move. It means nothing. And here we are with this trashish reporting. Yeah, I said trashish. I guess I made that up. Let's keep going. The Greeks discovered that the ratio occurs everywhere in nature, and for thousands of years it has been thought to hold the secret formula of the world's most beautiful faces, the doctor told US Weekly in 2016. Oh, so this report's from 2016. It's not actually now after the case, but they're kind of promoting it like it is. It's brand new. This article's from a few days ago. The fee ratio of 1.618 has long been thought to hold the secret for beauty, but now, with the computer mapping, we can calculate how it applies to real women, he added. If you use the real woman, by the way, if you use a picture, like I said, I'm going to imagine some angles and distances get distorted. Again, this picture here of Amber Heard, probably not 2016, maybe, but even if so. 
That's not what it's going to be for much longer. Da Silva, who runs the Center for Advanced Facial Cosmetic and Plastic Surgery in London, has applied the same formula to countless well-known beauties. According to his research, Kim Kardashian has the most perfect eyebrows in the industry. Emily Ratajkowski, if I'm saying that right, please go easy on me on that one, has the most enviable lips. Kate Moss has the right forehead, and Scarlett Johansson has the most fetching eyes. Well, I do like those last two. But it's Bella Haddad who scored highest of them all overall with 94.3% in Beyonce, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Let's stop there. So they're going through the whole list of these women to give the guy credit because he said things in the past that people agree with or something like that. But what's the point here? June 21st, 2022. Why now? Why are we talking about all these people who've been analyzed already over years and years and comparing them to Amber now? Well, like I said, I would think this is one big PR stunt. It's a huge stretch and it's really meaningless. But the meaningful thing is for us is that they're reporting on this and this is their tactic and what they've been reduced to. Let me know what you think down below, doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. And if you don't subscribe, you'll get me trying to be funny, covering articles, that first heard, things like that. People say I talk like Christopher Walken, but that's not so bad because I kind of like him. And if you don't subscribe, I guess I'll be pretty sad about it. But I'll get over it. Rant done for now. See you next time.